Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you for joining me. So this is another video tutorial in our WordPress series and I want to talk to you about the formatting and optimization of a blog post. Um, I'm in one of my older sites here and I'm looking at an older blog post that I did and I know I briefly touched on um, your header tags and that's your H1, H2 and H3 tags. Those are the main tags that you want to utilize and those are the main tags that your um, uh, Google bots are going to be looking for and basically what Google bots do they read over here the HTML back here and that's what um, that's why you want to have those tags in there for them to read now main, your main header you should have um, your keyword optimized um, blog post so in this blog post it's online lead generation okay so you want to have that everywhere not everywhere a few times in your uh, scattered in your blog post um, you want to have links attached to one of the keywords which I have here and you want to have it in an h1 tag which I have here so I highlight it and you can see that it's an h1 tag that's and I'm only going to use that one time because you really only need a header one tag one time and then if you look here I have my online lead generation uh, strategy which is another version of my online keyword or of my keyword and I have that uh, linked to uh, another page I'm not sure where I linked it I can check that out later it doesn't really matter so you want to break up your post you notice I do have an image here and it's important to make sure that you have an alt tag on your image so let me see if I have that I'm going to click on the image and then click the pencil and I should be able to make sure that I have an alt tag which I did an alternative text that's what you want to have you want to make sure that you fill that in with your keyword as well because the Google bots will be looking for that they want to know what that is okay so also you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of text that is all bunched up you want to make sure that you break up your text and then you go into your next header so that way it makes it easy for people to read and it makes it easy it makes sure that you have your head your headings um, also in place so when I click on here if you notice it says h2 or heading 2 tag is in place okay and then you want to make sure that you have other links going um, you want to have at least one other link going to a major website say like um, um, I usually link to Wikipedia or something like that or Amazon anything that's got a lot of traffic that's a big player that Google sees it's one one of the authority websites so you want to have one link um, sent out to there and then you want to have a few links that are linked to your inner pages some of your posts or your about me page you just want to make sure that you have enough links in your site um, going to other places and those are those are called outbound links okay and you notice that I have that here I do have links those are the highlighted images or um, um, texts and then I have one other heading two. now I could make this a header three instead um, if you want to do that you can but I actually made my call to action a header three so um, if you look at my call to action it also has my my keyword online generation it has my keyword in there and it has my call to action which is click here or I could even use um, create a link going to that same place where my click here goes and use that for my keyword as well um, people say that depending on how many how long your um, blog post is whether or not you want to put a lot of images right now I only do one at the very top sometimes and this is an older um, blog um, I might add another image maybe one other image at the bottom it just depends on how I'm feeling that day so there's kind of a you know not a debate but difference of, differences of opinion on how many um, images that you want to have in your post. I mean basically you can do what you want I think with images just make sure you have those alt tags in there. So now what I really wanted to do um, is to go to the S WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin that we added in one of our earlier training videos 
and we want to make sure that we have green lights for all of that we want to make sure that we go by the standards because that's what's going to get help us get ranked in Google so it gives you the snippet preview that's what people are going to see when they go to google.com and they Google say online lead generations they will see this if mine happens to pull up you will also see um, you want to add a focus keyword once again mine is um, online lead generation in this example you can add more than one keyword um, it's up to you I just stick with one when it comes here and then I put more in the tags remember we talked about tags area right here I'll add um, Oops, I will add more of my keywords uh, and my related keywords in my tags. So right now I'm having an all green. Okay, so I have my article heading, yes. I have my page title, yes. Meaning I have my keyword in it. So I have my keyword in my header. I have my keyword in my page title. I have my keyword in my URL. And I have at least, and I've got five keyword my keyword is shown five times in the uh, blog post itself and I also have a meta description which um, I put here so it'll pull up your title for you um, disregard the the warning this title the title display in Google is limited to a fixed width and it says mine is too long but that's okay I'm not gonna worry about that and then we want to make sure that we have our meta, meta description basically just take a snippet out of your blog post that has the keyword in there and you like I do here the online lead generation and you want to go ahead and just copy and paste that there so that's the basics so when you go to page analysis it's gonna show you what else you need to add so I have most everything on here except um, it says my copy score 62.3 in the flesh reading ease test which is considered okay to read meaning is if it's easy to they don't want your they don't want your um, they don't want your post to be too hard to read they want you to use simple plain English you don't want to be reading like some sort of biology test book basically you don't want a whole lot of you know big words and um, just you want to keep it basic um, that the average Joe will understand so I have a yellow on that one. Um, I'm not going to worry about trying to make it simpler because I think to me it's simple, it's simple enough. Um, I have a yellow where it says the page title contains keywords and phrase but it does not appear at the beginning of my of my post so I want to try and move it around to the beginning. So what they're saying is in my first <clears throat> paragraph it doesn't show up first but it's in the paragraph and that's kind of that's one of the reasons why SEO bugs me because it's hard to get creative and make your um, blog not look like it's formatted you know for some robots it's you know you want to entertain as well as um, give value but you don't want to sound like you're just you know this robot and everybody's writing the same way and doing the same things and things just look weird the way you write it so you have to get creative with SEO so it doesn't appear like you're looking like you're just trying to cram a keyword in there for no good reason but anyways it, they want it to appear at the beginning even though it's in the paragraph they want that keyword to be at the beginning of your sentence alright so the next one that I have a yellow on is the page title contains too many characters so it should be like 70 characters I can condense that I think it might be because I have my um, it has a tag on it as well so I could remove that to make that more optimized and then the last one it says my keyword density is too low so I only have five keywords sprinkled within the article and the article is, is fairly short it's an 810 word article um, but they want it to be at least 2%. Mine is only 0.61%. So if you can figure out a way to add your keywords a little bit more to up to 2%, let it show up to 2%, and still keep it looking fresh and not weird and and promotiony or not weird like you're you know like you're trying to sell to a robot, <laughs> then you go ahead and do that. But and 
people who do stick to this religiously I mean they get ranked and you know I need to do that more I know for me it kinda inhibits creativity and making my blog sound and look the way I want it to but if you wanna get um, if you want to get seen, if you want to get your post ranked on Google, then take a take one of your maybe least favorite blog posts and you know optimize that up the wazoo just the way uh, the SEO by Yoast tells you to do it, and then you know let that puppy run. And so that's it. You want to make sure your goal is set for everything to be green. I still got a green. I still got a good. I don't have an excellent but I still have a good okay so that's it I just wanted to just break down making a post and you know how you kind of break it up and then make sure that you SEO that post correctly so if you have any questions we have a questions comments uh, way down below um, and if you enjoyed the video let me know or if you have any suggestions of what you want to learn or what you would like me to create a video on go ahead and let me know until then I will see you on the next video bye bye for now